Let's come to delusion. What is delusions? Because when you use, you know, delusions are very commonly developed by the patients who have psychosis. Schizophrenic patients develop delusions. Even when you give antipsychotic drugs, you must expect that delusions should be reduced. But first, you should know what are delusions, right? Any idea what is delusion? Yes, please. Person who believes in Okay, he come up with an uh, idea that person who believes he is hallucinating is deluded. Uh, you are trying to confuse me today, I am sure. He came with bad intentions here, right? <laughs> Today's goal is to confuse Dr. Najia. I am not going to be confused by you. And I disagree with your definition in public. Uh, who will tell me what is delusion? Okay, first I will give you an example. You remember the example of elephant? For example, this man, what's your name? Ramir. 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 Ramiru. Okay. Mr. Ramur, Ramiru thinks that elephant is giving lecture. I say I am not elephant. He says, no, you are elephant. All of you convince. I try to convince with all appropriate convincing. In the end, we say, what do you think? Who is giving a, a lecture? He says, yes, elephant. It means he has delusion. Let me, or another example. I show what is this. All of you say this is a marker or pen something like writing instrument but uh, mr carlos come he say no this is aeroplane we say this is not aeroplane this is just pen he say no 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 this is aeroplane and uh, i came from new york to central domingo on this aeroplane and i intend to go back by sitting on this and it will take me to new york back and he's, he looks very serious about that project of course he is deluded is that right he's psychotic he's he has lost the contact with Isn't it? Now, exactly how we define delusion. Delusions are firm false belief. Firm false beliefs. Beliefs. My spellings are not good. So usually I like prefer to write like this. Beliefs. Firm false beliefs. Right? Which are held very strongly in spite of evidence to contrary this is very important when you have to label a person as person is deluded you first you should be clear what is really meant by delusion because you are putting a very dangerous diagnosis on a person is that right because if patient has delusions and eventually you have to diagnose him as psychotic so before that you must be clear what you are talking about fine so what is delusion delusion is a firm belief but false belief which is held very strongly and tenaciously in spite of evidence to contrary and and which does not originate from persons religious beliefs or cultural belief or social system because there are some ideas which may be coming from someone's religious or cultural background which may be firm and may look false to other people from other religion. That is not delusion. You are getting it. For example, let me tell you one thing. This is firm belief, false belief, held very strongly in spite of evidence to contrary and which is not originating from persons socio-cultural religious upbringing or background is that right for example one person due to his specific religion he believes that there is a very big you can say aeroplane not aeroplane there is some some angels in the air right now and they are today going to help him now this is belief due to his religion he is very firm so someone who does not believe in angels, there may be someone who does not believe in angels, he should not label the first person as delusion because first person has believed in angels and every day he says that I feel angels are helping me and he feels good. But if someone says and he says, you see, this is a wing of an angel and it is going to help me and you think no religion is telling that this paper is a wing of an angel. This is now delusion 
you get me so for the delusions uh, we have to be another example that in some religions they say that cows are like mothers or their mothers right now if someone in that religion believe that cow is mother is not deluded it is their religious belief is that right but they are normal people is that right am i clear but if someone comes and says that uh, let's suppose this fox is my father and he believes it very strongly and it is not coming out of any social or cultural or religious upbringing then of course there's something wrong is that right maybe delusion is that right when now imagine let's go back to the situation you enter into room and you just feel there's an elephant giving lecture but when you look clearly oh you say you are stupid why you thought like that this is dr Najib. so initially there was a misperception for a very short time what was that Alien. but if there's no one standing here and you feel there's an elephant giving lecture what is that and if my bad luck if you firmly believe i'm an elephant and i try all my i do all my best to prove i'm not but in the end you again say i'm an elephant right and you're going to treat me like an elephant then of course that is you have delusion is that clear right so delusions are firm false belief held strongly in spite of evidence to contrary and these thought I, thought patterns are not originating from patients socio cultural religious background is that right last part is very important because in your uh, american culture the people coming from many different religions different uh, cultural backgrounds and they may have uh, very different type of uh, thought patterns or beliefs which may look very false to some of the components of the society right but you have to check it out now let's take examples of delusions Can you give me some example of delusion? For example, this young man, he is sitting here. And suddenly after the class, he says that uh, all of you are invited to Hawaii Islands with him. And today he is going to throw his uh, party. And uh, then he says, we say, how you are, why you are inviting us for the Hawaii? He says, uh, today is my birthday. But we say we are in Santo Domingo, how we can be in Hawaii so fast? He said, no problem, I have my special uh, Boeing and uh, I will take all of you there. And uh, I bought also all the con concords from France. And uh, if you want to, everyone want to go individually, he can go individually on different concords. Then he also claims that uh, uh, Bill Gates is also coming there and President Bush is also coming there. And uh, he says maybe every head of the state is there. And if they don't come there, he, he says, I will somehow manage them and uh, otherwise I'll punish them, right? I'm going to be very hard on them if they don't come. Now you start feeling there is something wrong with his thought patterns, isn't it? You try to, I hope, did you feel or not? <laughs> right? So now, what is there? He is deluded and he is deluded with grand ideas. These are called grand ideas. He has the private planes, not one or two. He has all the concords, right? He has all the head of the states coming there, right? And uh, in the end, he may think that uh, if you are not willing to go to Hawaii, I will arrange the islands here. Then you become to know, oh, he has delusions of power also, unusual type of, right? So what do you think then? These are delusions of, yes, please, grandiosity. Delusions of, delusions of grandiosity. Can you tell me some other type of delusion? Yeah, paranoid delusions are unfortunately very common. Paranoid delusion. What is paranoid delusion? Delusions of paranoia. Delusions of paranoia. Or paranoid delusions. What is the delusions of paranoia? If you are, as you all, all the time you feel that uh, so there is something uh, going bad uh, i mean you are suspicious of the community or people and you are all the time thinking that uh, uh, someone is trying to damage you or someone is take, going to take advantage of you or someone uh, but these are unreal for example i remember one patient uh, 
in my country in Pakistan, uh, he felt all the time that police is following him. But of course, before labeling him as Luyan, we had to confirm the police is really following him or not, chasing him or not. We came, to, but by his talk, we came to know that uh, he is a patient because he said, you know, police is following me. I said, how we know? Uh, how do you know that police is following you? He said, from last three years, I'm not going to my village. Because when I, whenever I go to the village, I think my father is uh, with the police and he will catch me. So last time when I went to my village, my father and mother, they say they have cooked special food for me. Now look at, at the thought content. You say I went to see my father and mother, they said they have special food for me. And I knew they are putting something in that so that I become unconscious and they are connected with the police and they will hand me over. So I just ran away from there, right? I said, then what did you do? He said, I went to a far flung, uh, flung town and when I was trying to give interview for the job. Suddenly I realized that person's face is like a policeman. I just slipped from there. Then uh, in the end, he told the very long story how he has been avoiding the police everywhere. And suddenly he said, doctor, you are from police. And then he ran away. <laughs> All right, so we knew there is something. The of paranoia. And when he was talking to us, he was looking under the table. I said, why? He said, do you have some recording device? Maybe you give it to the police. He said, I'm careful. Don't, don't think I'm, a, I'm not a smart man. Right? So he has delayed. There's a, whatever you try to do to convince him, there's no way to get him out of that. Right? He needs medication. Very sadly. A proper diagnosis and appropriate treatment. Right? These are delusions of paranoia. That many people develop it uh, under psychosis. But uh, don't, there are sometimes th paranoid thought that is less severe problem, right? But uh, there are some paranoid personality disorders we'll discuss later somewhere in behavioral science. That is different thing, but milder problem. But delusions of paranoia or paranoid delusions, people who are always thinking something something is going to be wrong, and people are chasing them, agencies are ch chasing them, and uh, they are going to suffer, right? These people all the time remain unduly. Com uncomfortable and uh, too much aware about their environment and always looking for something wrong. So delusions of paranoid. Oh, any other delusions example you can give me? Yes, please. Delusions of poverty. But first confirm your patient is really not poor. Uh, let me give you an extreme example. Bill Gates come to you. Imagine Bill Gates coming to you to your office. He says, you know, I have become very poor man. Uh, I'm the most poor man on the earth. I built the company Microsoft, fine, but now I'm finished. But actually, you know, Microsoft is doing well. He say that my, my, you say, what brought you here? He says, I'm very worried. I don't have money to eat. And uh, I don't have dress. Now, do you think these are real things for him at least? Not. And please confirm. Right? So... If you try to tell him, you have so many billions of dollars, many magazines are telling, televisions are telling and everything is there and look at your wonderful dress and you came in the maybe uh, one of the latest Mercedes and now you say you don't have anything to eat. You say, no, I don't have anything to eat. That's my problem. Now, this is, do you think, this is, even, this is a firm belief because you try to convince out of that, you cannot. So, firm belief then, fal false belief, held strongly in spite of evidence to contrary he has come maybe on his private jet and he believes that uh, he cannot afford a cigarette is that right and he firmly believes that he is bankrupted but actually he is not right so what is that delusion of poverty poverty but sometimes unfortunately some person is really poor and he is telling a sad story he is not deluded he is telling the reality delusions of Poverty. Can you tell me some more type of delusion? Sometimes under depression, people develop unusual type of delusion. Delusions of wealth. Uh, delusions of wealth, of course. Grandiosity. For example, uh, Mr. Carlos come to us and he says, uh, "Do you want to buy islands?" We say, well, "We are busy in our studies. We are not bothering about islands. We are stuck with smaller things." He said, no, if you intend to buy, don't buy. I'm planning to gift every of my friend one island. I bought all the islands on the earth. <laughs> you start thinking there's something wrong. Is that right? 
and then you say i will give the islands with the yards and with the, all the infrastructures and bungalows and buildings and so many other attractive things so then we think that there's something wrong isn't it so that is delusion of grandiosity another type of delusion of grandiosity is uh, a person comes to you and he says that i'm president bush and i'm going to manage all the american armies the single order is that right and uh, but he looks like uh, that he is just a very simple man maybe janitor you try to convince him he is not president but he says you know you are going to be in trouble i will ask the F fbi to catch you if you don't believe me is that right so that is what delusion of grandiosity inappropriate grand grandiosity feeling and thoughts which are held strongly in spite of evidence to contrary was that right so delusion of wealth are there many patients develop delusion of poverty another interesting type of delusion unfortunately is that uh, that is called delusion of nihilism nihilism means some part uh, some part of the body is not there for example i remember one patient coming to me and he says doctor you see this hand i say yes i see this hand he says it's not there i say what he says, you see this hand? I say, yes, I see this hand. He said, this is not there. I don't have the hand. Oh my God, I said, this is your hand. He said, no, this is a ghost hand. And he very strongly believed in that. And after, if uh, that patient, uh, unfortunately not taken good care, he just disappeared. And after a few months back, he came. He said, you see me? I said, yes, I see you. He said, it's not me. I said, who is this? He said, maybe my ghost. He said, doctor, you see? You are, I fooled you. And he believed he is a ghost moving around and his body is not there. That, and he firmly believed it. Right? So that was a delusion of nihilism. That is a delusion of nihilism. A nihilistic delusion. Was that right?